Welcome to Module 7, Non-Allergic Asthma Triggers. In this module, you will learn how to describe what an asthma trigger is. You will be able to list the different types of common non-allergic asthma triggers and irritants. Asthma triggers are a substance or condition that can cause airway inflammation and airway constriction and bring on asthma symptoms. There are various types of triggers that don't affect every asthma patient in the same way. It's important for you or your child to know your specific asthma triggers so you can try to avoid them. There are allergic and non-allergic asthma triggers. This module will talk about non-allergic asthma triggers. Please take a few minutes to also watch Module 6, which talks about allergic triggers. Allergens cause the body, including the lungs, to have an allergic reaction. Irritants can lead to asthma symptoms but do not cause an allergic reaction. Common non-allergic asthma triggers include exercise, colds, irritants, and other environmental conditions. Irritants that might trigger asthma symptoms include indoor smoke from tobacco or marijuana, wood smoke, chemicals, air pollution, wildfire smoke, and perfumes, deodorants, air fresheners, and strong odors. Activities such as exercise or strong emotions can also trigger asthma symptoms. Most people with asthma can have their symptoms get worse from exercise. If you're one of these people, talk with your provider about using your reliever medicine before you exercise. Other asthma triggers include viruses and colds heartburn, and weather, including cold air, dry air, or sudden weather changes. Colds or viruses are the most frequent asthma triggers that lead to asthma attacks. You should watch for asthma signs and symptoms at the first sign of a cold. Use a peak flow meter when you have signs of a cold to check on asthma control. Some providers will tell adults or parents of children with asthma to begin taking controller medicine along with your rescue medicine at the first sign of a cold. See Module 5, Asthma Attack Warning Signs and What to Do for more information on colds and asthma. People with asthma and their families should get a flu shot every year. People with asthma often get much sicker than other people if they get the flu because their asthma gets worse. A cold is a respiratory viral infection that can affect your nose, throat, sinuses, and ears. The common cold is passed from person to person or spread in the air from sneezing and coughing. Colds are usually caused by viruses. Colds can occur at any time of the year, but are more common during the fall and winter months. Asthma can also be triggered by non-allergic things like changes in the climate, tobacco or marijuana smoke, strong odors, air pollution, exercise, and colds and other infections. While emotions do not cause asthma, stress, crying, or laughing can set off an asthma attack. It's important to know what triggers cause an asthma attack and to develop a plan to avoid them. Indoor irritants can include various forms of smoke, strong odors from air fresheners, and chemicals. See Module 8 for more information about indoor air issues and Module 9 for outdoor air issues. Smoking harms not just the smoker, but also family members, co-workers, and others who breathe the smoker's cigarette or marijuana smoke, called secondhand smoke. Exposure to secondhand smoke increases the severity and frequency of asthma episodes. People who have asthma may have health effects earlier and at lower smoke levels than healthy people. Smoke is made up of a complex mixture of gases and fine particles when wood and other organic matter burn. The biggest threat from smoke comes from tiny particles, also called particulate matter. These microscopic particles get into the respiratory system as well as eyes and sinuses. Wood smoke is harmful to people with asthma. It is more harmful to children than adults and is also harmful to the elderly and those with chronic conditions. 
Some household chemicals can make asthma worse. These include lung irritants such as chlorine bleach and ammonia, solvent products like acetone and paint thinner, and products with strong fragrances or odors. It is best to eliminate these from the house. Outdoor irritants include air pollution, wildfire smoke, and dust. See Module 9 for more information about outdoor air issues. Air pollution can be an asthma trigger and it can worsen existing asthma. Check the EPA website or your local television, newspaper, or radio weather reports for daily updates on air quality. Plan outdoor activities when pollution levels are low. In summer, plan most vigorous activity for morning. Try to exercise away from busy roads or industrial areas. Diesel exhaust is a well-known asthma trigger. Exercise indoors on hot, smoggy days. If the air looks and smells smoky, minimize outdoor activities. Indoor air is generally lower in pollution. The key points from this module are it's important to know you or your child's asthma triggers so you can avoid them. Colds are the most common trigger leading to a serious asthma attack. Irritants can lead to asthma symptoms but do not cause an allergic reaction. 